Hi, this is Bastian, and this is the annotation of a game I played against uh, an engine more than a year ago called Brain Crack. And in this game, I used the um, Halosser Trap of the Blackmore Demer opening. Now, this isn't the game I wanted to annotate, but um, this game is much more basic and shows some basic principles of um, the Blackmore Demer and the um, Halosser Trap. Um, so I thought I would annotate this game first and annotate the second game um, in a few days. And this game will give you some understanding of um, the Halosert Wrap. So this game starts out with d4, d5, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight c3, knight f6. So we're seeing the Blackmore Demer appear on the board. f3, sacrificing the pawn. Pawn takes pawn. Now there are two ways to um, continue play, either queen captures or knight capture. And of course, if queen captures, we lose another pawn. But queen captures, which is called the rider gambit, was played anyways. And it is necessary to play this um, to reach um, the halosser trap. So queen captures. I get in some free development with bishop to e3. Queen moves to b4. Uh, which is the move we will typically see from people not familiar with um, the Blackmore Demer. Because now um, the queen attacks the pawn on b2. This knight is pinned. There's no defense with um, b3 to save the pawn, because otherwise queen takes a uh, knight. And castling leads to bishop to g4 which um, will lead to white losing a major piece or losing an exchange. Yet castling uh, is a part of the Halosser trap. Bishop to g4 is allowed. And now the attack is knight to um, b5, threatening mate. So bishop takes queen, knight takes pawn checkmate. So the queen cannot be recaptured. If queen takes knight, we get bishop takes queen, check, with tempo, allowing us to uh, retreat to queen. So this probably will never be played. If it does get played, game will be something in the lines of c6, then queen to g3, um, bringing the queen into safety. Bishop takes rook. Then queen to uh, c7, threatening the pawn on b7, which will threaten the rook. Threatening c8 mate, also threatening the bishop. So, if knight to um, d7 is played, to activate the rook, I can grab the pawn. Rook to um, b8. Queen takes pawn. Bishop to um, g4, saving the bishop. Then bishop takes pawn, um, threatening the uh, rook. Rook to d8. Bishop to b6. Rook to b8. Queen to c7. And there's a lot of pressure now on um, the knight. And if the knight is taken out, we can take the rook on b8. Otherwise, If black takes on the bishop, um, c8 is a checkmate. So just exploring that line, but um, it obviously fails as defense. So let's move back. And queen takes knight cannot be played, of course. What you will most likely see as a defense is knight to a6. This was the move that was played. So I play queen takes pawn on b7. This saves the queen. Attacks the rook. And also, if knight takes a c7 check, um, knight recaptures his forced, and we get a discovered attack on uh, the queen. So, 
let's see what black may try. If bishop takes rook to gain back the rook, we get queen takes rook check, king to d7. Then there are several possibilities. King takes bishop, for instance, and there's no danger um, for an attack by black. If queen takes pawn, we get knight to um, a7 with the possibility to um, check. Queen b1, I can block, then say random move h6, queen to c8, and black is already in the fourth mate. So that's not going to happen. Instead I can play knight to a7 instead of grabbing the bishop. Um, same attacking strategy, trying to play queen to c6 with the check. And this is also um, winning for black if you play directly. However, this wasn't played. Um, bishop takes rook is not the correct move. Black should continue uh, with queen to e4, and this was the move that was played. And now the best continuation for white, which was not played by me, is queen takes um, knight on a6. So, if queen takes knight, we can see black is left with two attacks. If bishop takes rook, we get king recaptures, then perhaps rook to d1 check, bishop blocks, again we are still threatening uh, knight takes pawn with check, and if queen to e5 to protect, the knight um, will make that defense um, unsuccessful because there is no safe uh, square on the diagonal and we are threatening uh, the mate. If e6 is played to provide escape, queen takes pawn check, king e7, losing for um, black. Or if rook to d7 is played to prevent against uh, the mate, we can play queen to c8 check, rook blocks, knight takes pawn checkmate. So this is just one variation. Queen to a6, we see black has two attacks. What if not bishop takes rook is played, but queen takes bishop? Then we get queen takes bishop. Check. Um, king to b1. Now, if say a random move h6, we still have the mate threat. Knight to a c7 checkmate. If queen to c5 is played, which is necessary to protect against that. We can play queen to um, b7 attacking the rook. Bishop takes, so I'm down a rook. I grab the rook on a8. King to uh, d7. Knight to um, c3 attacking the bishop, forcing the bishop to retreat. Now, knight to f3, looking to activate the rook on h1. Two possibilities. If, say, a random move is played. Bishop to um, b5 uh, check, activating the rook, will lead to a forced mate. You can... Um, well, black will also lose the queen, but uh, it's a forced mate after a few moves. 
if not a random move is played, but bishop takes knight, we recapture, and we can chat to our bishop. So um, this will also lead to a lost game um, for black. So that just gives you ideas how to continue. Sadly, none of these lines were played, and I play a much weaker line. So knight to a6, queen takes, queen to e4, and instead of playing the best move, queen takes knight on a6, I instead play queen, ta queen takes queen on e4. So knight recaptures. A uh, good continuation would be knight to f3 to protect our rook. Wasn't played, I'm sacrificing the rook. Again, these aren't the strongest lines, but they are still winning. And we notice that uh, this game was played more than a year ago. Um, so I wasn't as strong then uh, as I am now. Bishop to d3, attacking the knight. I lose the rook. I grab um, a knight, attacking the rook on a8. Rook to b8. But now we can see there's a check on c6. There's no way for black to prevent, um, really prevent this. For instance, he cannot play rook to b6 because that square is covered. So I grab the uh, bishop first. Black plays f5, looking for an escape and counterattack. Bishop to c6, the original idea. Black escapes. Knight develops, also activating the rook. d8 check. King retreats to c1. Knight to b4, threatening the pawn on a2 and the bishop on c6. Knight d5 check, protecting the bishop as well. King e6 and rook to e1. Now it looks like the king can grab the knight, but actually it isn't so. Because if king takes, we get bishop to g5, checkmate. So this just goes to show uh, how bad black's position is. Knight takes pawn. King to uh, b1. a6, attacking the knight. Bishop to um, f4, uh, temporarily ignoring the attack, looking for a discovered um, check. King flees, so my knight is under attack, but there's a pawn, uh, a weak pawn on c7, so I grab the pawn, and we notice our minor, minor pieces um, surrounding black's king. Knight to um, b4, knight to um, e8, check. There are two um, continuations, either the king flees to um, e6 and goes back on uh, the half open file with the rook or um, black may lose the exchange. So black chooses to lose the exchange, which is probably the best move. Bishop recaptures. e6, knight to f6, attacking the rook. Now, if rook to uh, g8 were to be played, we can play um, bishop to g5 check, King to g6, then h4, and continue our attack on the king. So if, uh, let's say, a5, knight to um, h8 is a checkmate. So moving the rook probably isn't best, and this look or gets uh, lost as well. King to e7 is played instead. I grab the rook, so I'm winning exchange sacrifice. Black grabs the bishop. I'm grabbing another free pawn. This pawn is becoming weak. Check, gaining tempo. King to d7. Um, f7 is covered. Rook to e5. g6. c3. Knight to c6, check, 
King to e8, b4, bishop to g7, rook to c5, attacking and protecting. There is an attack on um, the knight on um, h8, knight to um, d8, bishop to e5, which allows me to recover my minor piece. King to um, f8, so I grab the bishop, king recapture, so this is just a trade down. Now rook to c8 is possible to grab the knight after black grabs the king. I play rook to c7 check instead. Um, king recaptures, only now rook to c8. This is a little bit more forcing. King to g7, I grab my piece back. And uh, now is the end game with white upper rook. So there's not a lot more to show, but I'll show you the final moves. We can see that uh, black's pawn islands cannot pass my pawn islands, especially with the king. And I still have a passed pawn and a rook, so there's no hope whatsoever for black.